Hi, this is Murtaza Arshad. This is a tutorial for Model Sim Student Edition installation, and there will be a sample project uh, to let you know how to use it. This is a simple beginner's tutorial to give you a jump start to this uh, tool. This tutorial will be useful for you in your course EE272 Digital System Design as it will be necessary for your future labs. Let's start with the installation. Search on Google Model Sim Student Edition. I'm a robot. No. Okay, so it is done. Click on the first link. It will be from Mentor Graphics. Click on the download button. So they will ask for your information, basic information like first name, last name. If you have a linked LinkedIn account, just click on it. Most of information will be automatically filled. Otherwise, fill it yourself. Uh, make sure to give a valid email as they will be sending the download link to your email. Some of you may face a problem in op opening that setup as I have noticed in some operating system it doesn't extract directly. So if you cannot do it, just extract it using WinRAR in a folder. Open that folder, go to this one and then you will see the setup. Open it, run it. As uh, I can open it directly, I will shut it down and run the setup again directly. While choosing directory, just click on next. Do not change it because if you select a folder which has a space in its name, it will give you error later while running the software. Just click next, don't change anything. I have fast forwarded this part, so don't freak out if it takes time on your PC. Yes. Yes. Okay, after that it will send you to a link which will be a process to request a license for this software. So this part is very important because uh, if you don't have this license, the, pro the tool will run OK, but when you will try to simulate it, it will give you error that it hasn't found the required license. I think this will be one of the times when you will be using Internet Explorer. Again, it will ask for information. Give your required information. Again, give a valid email because they will be sending license file directly to your email and try to make sure that it is the same as the one you used for the download setup. And do make sure one thing that each student the do this step on his own, on his own PC. Because if you take this file from someone else being lazy and then try to run that license on your PC, it might not work because it, get, it checks the host name while sending you the license of the PC. After you download the license, just copy the student license.dat file and go to the directory where you install the software and paste it as it is there. And now we are done with the installation part. You can run your model sim simulator. Okay, let's just start model sim. Don't worry after seeing so many files. This is how its typical user interface looks like. Okay, so we start a new project. Click on file. Okay, before we uh, create a new project, uh, let me show you how does a typical 
project folder looks like so it will contain four folders there will be a logs folder rtl sim and sin so logs will be used for input and output files of the test bench rtl will contain the design module file which will dot b file sin will contain the xilinx project as we are not working with xilinx yet so it will be empty right now but this is the pattern you will follow in your labs and for your models in project these four folders i will try to upload these uh, sample project files of half header test bench as well as the design module with this video but if they are not with this link you can pause the video and see the code and write it yourself so if you are creating dot v files yourself you can open model sim go to file click on new and click on source file and that's where you can write your code which you can see from the video as i have written gibberish let's cancel it so let's create a project click on new project give it a name let's say my first model leave other things that is is click on browse go to the directory where you save your design module file set folder which contains all those four folders this is a sample sample project of half header go to sim select it as the directory and click ok as we said that sim will contain the project of model sim okay it will give you option to add existing files we have two existing files we would like to add one is the design module file which is contained in rtl so go to rtl open the, press ok the other file we want to add is the test bench file so go to browse and select the test bench file press ok and close it now we can see the two files we added in our interface there's a question mark in front of them as we haven't compiled them yet so click on compile and press compile all so it gives you an error okay let's see what error it is click on the error it will give you the details so this says that i have missed a semicolon in my file in my test bench file because it says that my design module file has been compiled successfully so let's check where i have missed the semicolon yeah it's a good practice now we we have seen how to look for errors and yeah let me open this this studio code so open the file which contains the error and try to look for the error as a test bench file uh, i think i have missed the semicolon in front of the definition of the half header save the file close it go to model sim again and try to compile it again so okay now this time both are compiled successfully and there is no error after completion of compilation we want to simulate our project so look for the simulate button click on it maybe in some versions of the software there will be there's an option of enable optimization here so uncheck it if it is there go to work select half test bench of half, half header and now the simulation has begun in some version there is uh, the docked version of the simulation there is small on the right side of the screen you can undock it and enlarge it Just select the portion of the module which you want to see on your simulation after right clicking it uh, go to add to and in add to go to wave and there are multiple options 
you can try all of them and see what's the difference uh, the difference will be in the things we will be observing the signals in the simulator so now go to the simulator so if you guys are uh, familiar with xilinx uh, this screen won't be much difficult to handle now you can see on the left side we can see all the signals we will be observing now to run the simulation go back to the model sim click run all press now you can see that the outputs have been displayed for the specific amount as it was mentioned in our test bench like if it uh, if we can see it from here the code has been run for like 45 nanoseconds so it must be mentioned in our test bench how long it will run you can enlarge the screen and on the left side you can see the values of the A input, B input, sum and carry play with all these buttons you can use cursors to find specific values at specific time you can also change the base in which the output is displayed like you can display it in binary hexa in whichever form you want just right click and go to radix and select the required form in which you want to display the output values and that's all from this tutorial if you have any questions or queries you can post it on piazza we'll try to answer it you can ask help from your tas in your lab and thank you so much.